Let's take a look at a couple basic CAD data management tasks in Creo Parametric using Windchill. Here I am in Creo Parametric. First thing that I need to do is to register my server. That's so that Creo Parametric knows where Windchill is and can communicate with it. And first off, I want to point out, take a look at my common folders list over here. In a moment, we're going to notice a change. So to register the server, you go to File and then Manage Session. And here we have server management. But this is a command that I use so often when I'm working with Windchill that I have it added to my quick access toolbar. Let me use my magnifier over here. So there you can see what the icon looks like if you have it in your toolbar. I highly recommend that you have it in there because again, you will be in there all the time. So let's click on server management. And here is the server management dialog box. Right now, it's telling me that there is no server. I'm working in standalone Creo Parametric. In order to register the server, you'll go to the server drop down menu. And here is the register new server command. Now we get another dialog box. And the first field is to enter the name of the server. And it's really important that you put in the name that your administrators tell you to because that name will also be used in certain config.pro options to tell where certain library files are, where different templates are. So don't just call it whatever you want. Listen to your PLM windchill administrators. Put in what they tell you to. Let's say in my company, I'm going to call it MCAE. And then down over here, you're going to enter in the location, which is the URL that's also going to be provided by your system administrators for where your Windchill server is. You want to type in, in exactly as they give it to you. For example, it has a capital W most of the time. Now we will click the check button and I'll actually try to connect to the server and it was able to do that fairly quickly and it'll list any default workspaces that you have in your setup. So for example, if you are a member of any different products or libraries and you also have a role that permits you to work with CAD data, then you'll have some automatic default workspaces for you. Maybe I want to select, you know, whichever one I'm working out of and click the OK button. And now I've got my register, my server over here. I can double click on it to see the different workspaces in here. So again, you have a bunch of default workspaces that are provided for you. However, I recommend against using the default workspaces. Workspaces are intended to be temporary. A very good rule of thumb is that when you get a new task, you create a new workspace. When you're done with that task, you delete the workspace. That will get you the best behavior in terms of working with Creo Parametric and Windchill. So let's see how to create a brand new workspace. To do that, in the same server management dialog box, you can choose Workspace and then New, and then you will type in a name. Generally, the old rule of thumb was that once your workspace has got about six months old, it got over you know a few thousand objects in there, they could start to get a little wonky, they could get a little bit unstable. I personally don't like my workspaces to exist longer than a month. So when I create a workspace, I prefer to put the date in the name of the workspace so I know exactly how old it is. I happen to be creating this video on September 4th, 2020. So that's what I'm going to put in the name. I'm going to use this for, oops, let me change my caps lock, some power transmission stuff. So I'll call it power transmission. Maybe I'm going to be checking in a bunch of files. So let me put that in there as well. Then we have a context. And this context is the default product or library that you want this workspace associated with. And that tells Creo Parametric, whenever you go to check something 
in that is a new object this is the location where you probably want to check it in but don't worry you can always change the location upon check-in or even with different attributes before you check in so again it's just sort of like a way of saving a little bit of time so I'm going to choose my power transmission product then I will click the OK button and now I've got a new workspace in here. Let me turn on my magnifier again. You can see that the symbol for a workspace looks like a desk, sort of like the desk where you sit at work. And the active workspace has a little blue star or light on it, indicating that it is the active workspace. All right, so that is good. So in this way, I have registered my server and I've created a workspace. I will click the close button out of here. In the beginning of the video, I told you to take a look over at the common folders. After we registered the server, there were a couple additional choices in here. Here we have access to the Windchill common space. That's the main server. That's the vault. That's where all the products and libraries are. And here I can access the workspace that is currently active. I'll click on that. And here we can see that we have the breadcrumb trail products power transmission workspaces and so you can see the name of it in here right now it has zero objects because I just created the workspace there is nothing inside of here if you don't want to see the workspace you can collapse it you can also use this button over here to toggle its panel from being visible or invisible and now we're ready to go about our day in Creo parametric getting our CAD work done I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.